Hello. My name is Crazy Chris, and about like a couple days ago, I uh, played a game called Lullaby from an Electric Toaster. Because right now I'm just searching for well, random games to play. And so, I, I was just searching. That's not important. Let's just get the play. You are an obsolete, discarded smartphone on a metaphysical journey to find a deeper meaning in life than making selfies and texting. You have come to a massive graveyard of books to search for answers. Ooh. Climb the stacks of books to collect all the deep thoughts. Beware of bookworms and poor battery life. Oh. Platform. All right, so I guess I gotta platform our way. Uh oh. Oh, the battery's running out. I'm a banana phone. Okay, this is harder to control than uh, the toaster game. Might as well just come as a guy. But what fun would that be? It takes a big man to cry, but it takes a bigger man to laugh at that man. Whoa. Bigger man to laugh at that man? Children need encouragement. If a kid gets an answer right, tell him it was a lucky guess. That way he develops a good lucky feeling. That doesn't sound right. I keep trying to press shift to sprint, but that's not how it works. The face of a child can say it all, especially the mouth part of the face. Huh. True. One thing a computer can do that most humans can't is be sealed up in a cardboard box and sit in a warehouse. Huh. I guess that's true. Humans can do that too. It's just that the... Uh... I don't like that one. When you go in for a job interview, I think a good thing to ask is if they ever press charges. Jump. Bookworms even a thing? Cause I've heard of them, but are bookworms something that's real? Are they like things that you can If you go parachuting, and your parachute doesn't open, and your friends are all watching you fall, I think a funny gag would be to pretend you were swimming. Yeah, that would be funny. That's 
it's not very deep, is it? Well, as steep as you get when you impact into the ground. Can't get up there. Instead of trying to build newer and bigger weapons of destruction, we should be thinking about getting more use out of the ones we already have. Yeah. I agree with that. Wait, does that mean like, use them randomly or? Wait a minute, I can crowd. Right. Forgot about what uses I could use crouching for. If you're in a war, instead of throwing a hand grenade at the enemy, throw one of those small pumpkins. Maybe it'll make everyone think how stupid war is, and while they are thinking, you can throw a real grenade at them. That one, that one's a good one. That sounds like something I do. If you ever accidentally drop your keys into a river of molten lava, let them go, because man, they're gone. Yeah, true. Interest. You are a client. Let's see if there's any other thoughts that we haven't. Because I want to see if there's any, if they're like random or are they set. Many people never stop to realize that a tree is a living thing, not that different from a tall, leafy dog that has roots and is very quiet. Huh. True. If you're robbing a bank and your pants fall down, I think it's okay to laugh, and let your hostages laugh too, because come on, life is funny. Home is where the
the houses. True. There's no point in using the books to, um, the ones that are standing straight up. If trees could scream, would we be so cavalier about cutting them down? We might, if they screamed all the time, for no good reason. Huh? And it says on my back, I don't know. I believe you should live each day as if it is your last, which is why I don't have any clean laundry, because come on, who wants to wash clothes on the last day of their life? True. Before you criticize someone, you should walk a mile in their shoes, that way, when you criticize them, you're a mile away and you have their shoes. <laughs> to me, it's always a good idea to always carry two sacks of something when you walk around. That way, if anybody says, Hey, can you give me a hand? You can say, Sorry, got these sacks. For mad scientists who keep brains in jars, here's a tip. Why not add a slice of lemon to each jar, for freshness? Hmm. Well, at least that worm helped me get higher. By like, knocking me into the air. I hope if dogs ever take over the world and they choose a king, they don't just go by size, because I bet there are some chihuahuas with some good ideas. Yeah. That reminds me of that Rick and Morty episode. 